Hey, what's going on dudes? Isaiah here. Welcome back to some more Honkai Star Rail. Last time we were just finishing up the story, and the main story, and we were doing some character missions, and also we did Equilibrium last time. But now, we're going to finally take on Star Hunt Games, which is the newest event. Well, the event's been around for a while. It's almost ending. It's like at like 19 hours on it, but you get the point. It's an event we haven't done yet, we're going to do this. And what triggered this was Arlen texted us. I know I have a lot of text messages to get through. And he says, He has some time to thank you for help when we first met. You're being told it was nothing. I wouldn't have much, lasted much longer if I didn't, you hadn't found me. Thank you for finding me in the monitoring room. Talk somewhere safe. Do you have time to come to the base zone? I want to give you a gift. Sure, it'll be right over. And he'll be waiting for us. And that's what started the punk lord mentality. So, we're going to go ahead and do that right now. Because I really want to do this uh, event. Not only that, but like I've been holding off on this for so long. So, we got to get it done now in this episode. Plus, we get to see Silver Wolf. And another new character, actually. What's up, Arlen? Correct. All the cabins they might pass by have been checked. Remember to report to lead researcher Asta. Hello. <laughs> we'll deal with problems outside the base zone later. Huh? It's you. Look busy. Sorry. This is embarrassing. We suddenly had some stuff come up. I wanted to take care of it before you arrived, but I can't seem to even get a break around here. It's cool. Never mind about that. Here, this is for you. I made it this morning, and I've been keeping it warm. Warm? A gift? That's right. I hope you don't hate it. I spent a long time wondering what to give you. In the end, I realize I should stick to what I'm good at. Miss Asta loves my fried rice, so I hope you like it too. Hell yeah. Sorry it's so noisy here. I wanted to find somewhere quieter where I could get your feedback, but... What's up with this place? All right. Hmm. I'm pretty confident in this dish. Unfortunately, I was a bit rushed at the end. Some big shot suddenly decided to visit the space station today. Everyone has been in a hurry since the announcement. They're all worried that a bad impression could damage Madame Herta's reputation. Miss Asta said that the guest appears to be Madame Herta's research partner. If he's doing research with her, he must be famous throughout the galaxy. Ah, uh, look at the time. The guest is almost here. If you're curious, just follow the crowd. Miss Asta and I will be there soon. Yeah, a bit curious. Awesome. But yeah, I'm excited to start this event. Get to hear from more from Silver Wolf. Melissa Fawn. You know. I love her voice. Actress. So this visitor is Get ready. Hypothesis. Thought always precedes word. Huh? And yet I can't find the words for this moment. It's good to see you, Asta. The friggin' Exo from Destiny? I'm four minutes and 13 seconds earlier than the appointed time. I hope it's not a bother. Of course not, Mr. Skrullum. Welcome to Herta Space Station. Mr. Skrullum, huh? No need for formalities, Asta. Herta Space Station is where knowledge converges. Here we celebrate the equality of thought. Such collaboration between organic life forms is magnificent and efficient. You're rebuilding the space station far quicker than I could have imagined. We appreciate your high price, Mr. Skrullum. Would you like me to show you around? Since the last summit, we've launched several new research projects focused on silicone-based matrices. Well, that sounds lovely, but I do have a meeting with Herta, so let's put the new surprises on hold for now. Madam Herta should be in her office. I'll take you there, right this way. Where else would she be? Sure. And you are? 
Oh, my name is there. Hello. Ah, hello, young sir. I've heard so much about you. Herta talks about you often. Does she? She's quite curious about you, as am I. What is it like to live in symbiosis with a Stellaron? I hope we'll have sufficient time in the future to get to know each other and answer this question. I think it's a design. I Looks pretty cool. Around, but now I don't think I'll be able to get away. That's all right. But go ahead, or you'll be able to get. No, no, that's all right. Cool, oh, Arlen. See you later, brother Arlen. Arlen's busy better leave him alone. The person over there seems to be doing something with Herta's portrait. Leonard? Oh, strange. It should be around here somewhere. Uh, maybe it's hidden inside Madame Herta's portrait. Huh? Uh, do you need something? If you're looking for the front desk, just go straight through those doors. Are you having trouble with something? Such a concerned and responsive tone. You must be the one everyone's been talking about recently. Your kind-heartedness is famous throughout the space station. I'm your main character. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Leonard, a cybersecurity engineer here at the space station. You probably know that this place was recently attacked by the Antimatter Legion. In the chaos, the master control system for each zone was paralyzed. Now that the station is being rebuilt, my job is to repair equipment and restore the space station's cybersecurity. But, during the repair process, I discovered some anomalies. The access records show that a third party other than the Legion invaded while the master control system was paralyzed. Hmm. Dalaran hunters? Uh, some have surmised the same as you. We suspect that it may have been the Stellaron hunters. It's an elusive group and very dangerous. Every member is on the IPC's wanted list. They include a super hacker from Punk Lord. I'm ashamed yeah. that I've lost to her once before. Really? A while ago, I discovered her whereabouts during a screening process. I was planning to follow the clues to find more details about her, but I fell into her trap. Can you guess what happened next? She reverse hacked my device, sent out a bunch of spam, made a video game open to the space station. <laughs> told everyone that an idiot named Leonard made a big silly mistake. <laughs> Ugh, that sounds like her. About it. Now that everything is calmed down, I thought they'd be on my case already. The silver lining? Madame Herta was generous enough to allow me to continue investigating this matter. Well, she doesn't want to deal with it. Hence, my silver lining. Yeah. Oh, Madame Herta. If she's really interested in something, it doesn't matter what anyone else says. To put it simply, the leaders have given me an opportunity. How could I not cherish it? If I can make up for my mistakes and do a good job, I may have a chance to prove myself. This time, I plan to start from inside the space station and see if I can find some clues to trace the intruder's steps. Maybe I can find the blind spot I missed before. I designed a decoding program. Look, it looks like a camera, but it's actually a detector. We should be able to find hidden clues with it. Just like this. Learn aim detector at the wall. Something seems to appear on the wall. Oh, uh, uh, that's, uh, Drop of sweat? Really? Well, why is there a drop of sweat? Unbelievable! Why would something like this be in the space station? The staff wouldn't even dare scribble on the wall, let alone leave a drop of sweat! So this is what we're looking for? This suspicious evidence? <sighs> it wasn't what I was expecting, but... It's pretty suspicious. It's Wait, sus. Uh, let me take a look. Oh, oh, I see. 
This is electronic graffiti that appears to represent punk Lordian symbols. Punk Lordian symbols? Mistaken, this should be some kind of automatic encryption. <laughs> What? We need Interesting. To decipher it if we want to find any culpatory evidence. What does it have to do with me? You got me there. I got caught up in our conversation. I wasn't paying attention. Well, now I'm interested. Uh, let me think. Uh, maybe I've been under too much stress recently, and I subconsciously want a friend. Anyway, if I were to find clues Boy, related yeah. to the Stellaron hunters, wouldn't that be helpful to you too? It would be. Ah, just do me a favor. It won't take up too much of your time. Here, just point it at the graffiti on the wall. All right then. Graffiti. And graffiti. Oh, with my camera. Okay. And it's gone. Pointing at the graffiti of the wall, something blinked blue, and the patterns started appearing. Suddenly, the patterns imploded and they engulfed in surrounding sounds and colors. Something inside is breaking out from it. Oh, it's a fight. Hang on. Someone a bunch of monsters? Not where I thought our first fight would be with this. Traces a little bit more. Oh well. Awesome. Oh, that, that scared me to death. Did you see that? It seemed like something popped up here. Then Void Rangers jumped out. Where is taken care of? Look, just like I guessed, this graffiti is encrypted. If we decipher it, we can see some hidden information. The surveillance camera captured her face. Silver Wolf. It's exactly the same as the photo on the IPC's wanted list. Let me see what she was up to. Is this There's a hologram transmitter beacon? Oh, I see. She probably ran into the antimatter legion during the invasion, then used this beacon to teleport the enemy somewhere else. We accidentally activated the beacon again just now, and they were brought back. Jeez, Stellaron hunters have the ability to stow enemies away like that? Beacon transmission that doesn't require a power source and can be implemented solely through computation? No wonder they were able to break into the space station. With this, I'm afraid not even Madame Herta's office is safe. Don't be discouraged. It's really hard to stay calm. You know, if it wasn't for you, I'd probably be lying on the ground right now. Probably. So it's really important that we work together. Please. There's a strange signal nearby. Maybe it's another piece of graffiti. Let's go find out. Up there. They even put down a question mark. They must be making <laughs> fun of us. I guess. She is elusive. Whoa. She went towards the base zone. <sighs> yep. There's only one way. Ugh. Disappeared again? This thing keeps cutting out when I'm deciphering. Oh, more graffiti. She must have stopped here for a bit. Let's look around. Can you let me have some fun this time? Our last few operations turned out to be pretty dull. She makes it seem easy. Is she really looking at the Curio Collection Index? It's a voice. Judging by how calm she is, she must have been in this room for a while. Maybe she was waiting for someone. Not sure what happened after that. Let's search somewhere else. She's after her toys. 
get <laughs> kind of toys. You think I'd be in phones ready? Ah, so that's what happened. She sneaked in first, then helped her partner in through the main door. It's a classic hacking operation. Let's see. The registered name is Leonard Colliwell. Did you see Pastor Among Us? What the hell? <laughs> I knew you were being sus to the beginning. <laughs> How is this possible? Ha, ah, you're the she, Pastor Among Us. She used my identity. I, I never noticed that there was an issue with this record. I subconsciously <laughs> glanced right past it when I saw my own name. She's so cunning. Oh, the Among Us reference. Oh my god. He's a sneaky one. The <laughs> Echoer. And achievement for that, awesome. We got one more right over here. The graffiti's location is quite interesting. It feels like she's playing a game with us. One dot leads to another. It's really fun. I heard from a friend that the hackers on Punk Lord have a tradition. When they hack, they purposely leave something behind for people to discover. Kind of like throwing down the gauntlet. They call this the Punk Lord mentality. There can only be competition. Oh, I said the name of the quest. Rivalry, and there can only be excitement when there is competition. Life's a game, and having fun is what's most important. They kind of like that, honestly. That way of thinking, but it seems like this graffiti might have been left behind for us on purpose as a clue. The same thing happened last time as well. I was so close to the target, but got obliterated in the final battle of information. So close yet so far. <sighs> Doesn't help to dwell on past failures. It's more important to do your best with the things in front of you. Ah, she's Agreed. Seems to be leaving. Let's keep up. I hope we get to go to Punk Lore one day in this game, like in the future. They seem to be heading I'm curious. What our home planet looks like. I guess she was in here and her doesn't here. Another graffiti. One of her dolls. All different too. She really put some thought into this. Yes, yeah, she did. Wait, didn't she go through the wall? Huh? Is this section of the record damaged? She went through the wall and disappeared. Teleport herself? I don't think so. That's not the same as passing straight through a wall. Look. Hold on. I got it. It might be an effect from a curio. There was a pre-established folded space here, and the intruders found it and took advantage of it. No wonder she kept going through the Curio Collection Index. This space is connected to the Stellaron room. Do you still remember it? That's where they put the Stellaron inside you. Yeah, Mommy Kafka shoved, shoved the cube inside my chest. I think I remember. Why would they leave you mm, here Kafka. their objective was the Stellaron? With her capabilities, all she would have needed to do was make another beacon. She would have been able to escape with the Stellaron no problem. Huh? There's no graffiti here. Oh, we're doomed. The trail has gone cold. I'm just gonna say, isn't she still after that gun? Uh, so strange. Did she really leave just like that? She came all this way and didn't take anything with her, nor leave anything behind. Oh, um, they did leave you behind. <clears throat> Sorry, that sounded better in my head. It must have been a terrible feeling waking up in a place that was completely unfamiliar to you. I mean, it wasn't so bad. I can't help but feel there's more that they're after. <sighs> I really hope I can find something that's useful to you. Otherwise, I'll feel bad for having you do so much work for nothing. <sighs> the more I talk about it, the worse I feel. I should probably find something that I can do. Hmm. There's a rating pistol here. I wonder what my rating would be. Whoa, look here. 
There's a strange access log in the rating pistol's compartment. It looks like the log time occurred during the Legion's invasion. The researchers would have already been evacuated by then. Could it have been her? In which case, she didn't leave immediately. She implanted the Stellaron inside you, and then fiddled around with the rating pistol for a while. Could it be that... I just realized something. We need to go to the Curio Collection Room on the other side. Yeah, she was after that for a while. Also, this thing can rate you if you interact with it. Number 752 rating pistol weapon creates a sight unknown scoring logic. Close your eyes and the weird little gun suddenly snaps and op open and swirls around for a moment, staring at you with malice. Rating pistol gazes at Isaiah. 84 points it announced. It's basing flo thing on intellect. Don't think so? I think it judges your power level. I'm not sure. It could be like Dragon Ball, let's be real here. But fun fact, if we actually switch to March, it will it cannot rate her. Rating pistol weapon creates a weapon on side scoring logic. Course of the weird gun suddenly opens eyes for a moment. Rating invalid. The eyeball swirls around three times before suddenly widening after a brief impasse. Its eyes shuts weirdly. Is this thing based on that? I don't think so. And I think the other character you can do that with is uh, Sampo, which I do not have him. I think it's him. Him and March cannot be rated. I think those are the only two characters. Actually, let's see with Silver Wolves. Since I have her. Strange. Yeah. Uh, I think the score is kind of weird. Wait a minute. What is? I'm sorry. What did it say? I might skip too fast. Eyes closed. Wish I were on. Uh, stared at you in malice. 110 points reported the waiting pistol. That silver wolf. The voice sounded is strange and digitized. <laughs> what is the score? You don't understand. That's funny. It sounded digitized. How fitting. But yeah, for some reason, I can't rate March a Sampo. I th don't know why. I, I remember coming across a couple of videos like that on YouTube. I haven't watched any of them yet, though. <laughs> I love the little... Uh, little... TV graffiti. Cute. I just remembered that Madame Herta has a game cartridge named Punk Lord Mentality in her collection. Oh yeah, we saw that in the uh, Simulator Universe, I believe. It was one of the Kuro collections. A game cartridge? Right? It's actually on the list of missing curios. I wasn't able to put the two together before. If the hacker has a personal objective other than the Stellaron Hunter's mission... Uh, I got it! I got it now! The Stellaron Hunter's operation was just a cover for her! Who's acting after the Curio? That's right! She was so interested in the Curio Collection Index that she stayed in the space station even after her mission was complete. This was what she was truly after. She knew we would be looking for the Stellaron Hunters and used it as her cover. Very smart. To be expected of someone from Punk Lord. Hold on, though. Something doesn't add up. The curios are Madame Herta's most prized possessions. All the visit requests are sent to her office from the computer in the main control room. Some researchers tried to gain access to the curios for research purposes once, but they didn't get proper authorization. She caught them all red-handed. I have a bad feeling about this. The fact Madame Herta hasn't responded to this can only mean one thing. That the main control room was hacked as well. We need to go and take a look. Alright then. Forget how small she is. She's just very small. Oop. Got turned around. This main room. How'd you get here before me? Damn, you're fast. Don't move. Oh, I get chills just looking at the space station monitors now. Let me investigate first. Just perfect. Not only did she shut off all the access logs, she shut off all the terminal transmissions, too. I thought it was the Legion that did this. Do we need to restart? Let's focus on the main task first. I am curious, though. 
She paused the terminal transmissions, but didn't touch the local data at all. I really don't get her. As a Stellaron hunter, she leaves the Stellaron behind. As a hacker, she doesn't delete the local log. Hmm. There's an external port here. I'm gonna plug in and take a look. Might be a trap. Relax, friend. I've done this a million times. Look at this agreement. This is your burst of light shines and the enemy appears. Wait, what? Not a battle. This combat needs up. <laughs> this is double speed. Time to <laughs> More enemies. Time for a bug. <laughs> Time to <twirl. laughs> That'll take nap time. Ah, they don't. Hey my god. You know who I am. Natasha tra traces need to be higher. They're like some of them are still at three. Lance at the ready. <laughs> Not scratch. Can I have fun this time? We have fun right now, what are you talking about? See? I was right. There was something fishy about the local data she left behind. There was something strange after all. Now we can browse through the curio access logs. Huh? That can't be right. This curio doesn't seem to have ever left the space station. Wait, how did that fight even occur with everyone in the room? No one see all the monsters nearby? You didn't take the curio either? Hmm. From the way things look, yes. The records show that this curio was last sent to Madame Herta's office, and then it disappeared? I'm seriously confused. What did she come here for? She wouldn't have put the graffiti up just to mess with us, would she? <sighs> no, if I start thinking like that, I may as well give up now. I have to fully investigate every lead, or I'll really be out of a job. Pity unlocked. Victor Re Raindew. In a Rainbow City, Raindew is a... Wait, Rainbow City? Raindews are... Dick, dicker without a technicality to shatter and scatter hit the ground just like the legendary stories of out of reach that are out of a reach will eventually fall yes the original meaning of this graffiti perhaps there's some there have since been some subtle diversion now but that's not important extra ring a question mark that could be from a puzzle it's an expeditional emotion or an interactive object or a quest that can't be complete See how charming the, que the question mark is? <laughs> Very charming. A silent word. A mysterious language lies in the equation of even a few punct punctuations marks containing an infinite secrets. This one, for example, should rep represent silence, but instead invites conversation. Interesting. So, when you do story mode, you also can uh, upgrade graffitis. Or not upgrade graffitis, wow. Unlock graffitis. And you get a light cone out of it, basically. That's all there really is to to the, to the graffiti's existing. Plus, you can use these graffiti's on uh, cameras. And you get your progress. You can go back. Okay, tutorial. You want me to do the arcade challenges? Start hunt game. Arcade challenges. Da, 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 da. Wait a minute. Sorry about that. Let me go through this. Um, you get points. Find the sick. Signs of the hidden graffiti, interact with them and find them with corresponding rewards. Follow the signs of the photo subjects and interact with them and receiving the corresponding rewards. Right. Story soccer games, extra receive, extra reward. Gotcha. Access screenings. Volume 2, Volume 3. Okay, yeah. I, I would like to do all the story before doing, uh, before doing any of the, ex the actual events. Nice. Store. Oh, cast iron. Nice. That's the uh, upgrade material for Silver Wolf. Little twisty bubble gum. <laughs> oh, it's like those. Um. Oh man. The uh. It's like the whole bubble roll or whatever of like bubble gum. That's what it reminds me of. That's funny. Track of destiny. We want that for traces. Yeah, I thought I remember them saying you could use those graffitis in your camera. Yeah. 
Graffiti mode. Switching graffiti mode combos and combos to spray intensify images. Use undo erase all the sprays when more convenient. When using more than eight graffitis are made in a domain, the earliest graffiti will be replaced. Well, your current existing one will also disappear. Open the camera graffiti mode to spray. Yeah, you can just have this little option right here. Just place these things. And it will stay there. That's all it's, you know. Wait, can I, can I delete that actually? Or can I just leave it there? Whoops. Hold on. Oh, you can. You can delete it. Fuck. It's gone. <laughs> Ain't that cute. You get a little graffiti mode in your camera now. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's go to Madam Herta's office. Go see her to. That's not gonna happen. I'll say it again. I don't care what Run May said to you, but there's no chance we're shutting down the simulated universe. No, I haven't grinded everything Herta, yet. I've made my decision. Question What have we invested into this project? Hundreds of system hours, the resources of an entire planet, and the most advanced technology in the entire universe. And what have we gotten in return? Unknowns, confusion, and a series of errors. In the beginning, we defined the simulated universe as a miniature world that could be used to discover the traces of the eons. Now, it's become something far removed from its original purpose. The simulated universe is bound to make errors. You said that yourself, and that's exactly what we're experiencing. Why is that a problem all of a sudden? I adore the vast amount of knowledge. But I cannot accept that the simulated universe remains simply a pending contract waiting to be attended to. Herta, think about it. How many surprises has this project given you? And how many disappointments has it given you? The simulated universe never disappointed me. You are what disappoints me, Skrulem. Damn. Do you really think of yourself as someone so exceptionally amazing <laughs> right now? You're more like, like, like someone from the Nitwit Society. <sighs> Herta, I don't mean to question you, nor do I want to deny the hard work you've put forth for the simulated universe. I just want to give more room for knowledge and inspiration to grow freely. That's enough. Leave if you don't want to be part of this. Go tell the other two yourself. Oh. And take your tech with you. I don't need it. I can go find Adrian Taylor, or the red-nosed old man from Epsilon, or even the Intelligentsia Guild. At least they won't quit halfway. Skrulem, we've known each other for a long time. This is the first time I feel that... You're nothing but a piece of ice-cold metal. Anyways, hey, Skrull. My apologies, sir. It's with her. This all started with me. I was the one that brought up the request to end our academic collaboration. Well, don't get me wrong, I have nothing against Herta or the project. The simulated universe is a great experiment, and Herta is a true genius. However, we have our differences when it comes down to our long-term vision for the future. These differences will often manifest into bias, and bias will get in the way of the formulation of knowledge. Deep down, I want to continue to believe in Herta. And the question is whether one should end a collaboration that no longer holds true to its original intent. From an objective standpoint, I should end it immediately. Are you worried about her mental state? Uh, a little. Judging by the result, I have failed to choose the most suitable time to raise this matter. The emotions of organic life are like tides. It is my fault for not noticing the trajectory of the moon. 
Let Herta be alone for a while, so she can calm her emotions. It'll be beneficial for our negotiations later as well. As for the simulated universe, if that's the reason you're here, maybe I can help in answering your questions. Explain what happened. Hmm. Well... Search. Bonfire in the depths of the woods. A lone stone sword points to the stars. Punk Lord mentality. That is no ordinary curio, my friend. That is a love letter a galaxy ranger has written for the universe. Young sir, how much do you know about Punk Lord? Very little, man. Very little. Don't know much. It is a planet made of data and symbols. The edges of reality and illusion are blurred in Punk Lord, as are its days and nights. An ether cartridge is a chip that Punk Lordian hackers use to edit reality. The ways through which a hacker perceives and modifies the world are recorded on the chip. That sounds fucking cool. It's a recording of the hacker's life and proof of their existence. The one on the space station belonged to someone truly legendary. He became a galaxy ranger by accident and spent many long years traveling among the stars. He encountered countless fascinating individuals and saw wonders witnessed by few. Many of the records and details recorded therein are beyond the knowledge of even the IPC and the Intelligentsia Guild. That is why it became part of the masses of calculation data for the simulated universe. Yes, no need to worry, my friend. The cartridge has never left the space station. It's, as I said, it is a very important reference for the simulated universe. That is why its data has been extracted and added to the calculations of the universe model. Herta was probably impulsive and added the cartridge into the simulation without telling anyone, resulting in the item being listed as lost. A little worried. I understand your concern. If the individual in question did indeed try to hack into Herta's office, then the simulated universe is undoubtedly her next target. As such, Please allow me to offer my limited abilities to assist you with your investigation, sir. As you already know, the simulated universe will be shut down temporarily. It will remain shut until Herta and I come to a clear conclusion. Yes, this is the last chance to investigate the cartridge data. By way of apology for shutting down the simulated universe, I will use my abilities in the universe to provide you with what assistance I can. This is my recommendation. Please take your time to consider it. Now, let's go. <laughs> I don't need to take my time to consider it. Let's just do it. Well, sir, are you ready? Let's go. Very well. Get going, we shall. I will be sending you into the simulated universe using an alternative method. It might feel a little different than usual. This will help us quickly locate the cartridge in the vast sea of data. We'll start with this data link. Now, please prepare yourself for a deep dive with your consciousness. Recommend team level 68. Well, we're 70. It seems like this must have scale with it. I can't use my own silver wolf. Are you serious? Wait a minute. Damn. What was this one loaded with? Not even a sense rain. Come on. Level six. Uh, that's that's about right with my silver wolf. What was this stuff? I can't see the stuff that they put on there. Oh well. Can't use my silver wolf. Come on. Hmm. Yeah, I just go with the usual team. Bring her to all that stuff. It. You feel ripple, a great weightness that takes a look, makes you lose control of your limbs, and a flurry of symbols and code. Wake up with a jolt. This is a seemingly universe. Young sir, are you all right? I'm fine. That was just really, really weird. You are now inside the data link of the ether cartridge. Look around and tell me what you discover. Hacker's right in front of me. Oh. Silver Wolf. Conclusion. 
That is a holographic record that the simulated universe has created. In here, regardless of how large or small, all variables are saved, including outsider traces. You were right. The enemy's invasion has spread to the deepest parts of the simulated universe. They were only a hair away from the ether cartridge's data link. What we are seeing are the projections of what happened in those moments. Young sir, please stay still. Allow me to see what I can do with this record. Hey, you. Why are you staring at me? It's her. The real person? The simulation flow. But this is just a record of the past. She is not actually talking to you. Please listen and don't interrupt her. We may be able to find out more of what we need to know. First off, I'm not obsessed with it. On Punk Lord, the stories of the cartridge are no different from textbooks. I'm not interested in something that everybody already knows about. Secondly, it's not some kind of video game cartridge. It's an ether cartridge. It's the second pair of eyes, second brain, and second heart of the hacker. Do you understand what that actually means? With that cartridge, if a guy went to a movie premiere and bought some mixed popcorn, you'd be able to know the flavor of the fourth kernel he picked out of the bucket. It's truly amazing. It's weirdly specific, but all right. I'm gonna say it again. I'm not obsessed with it. The reason I'm still rambling about it is to make sure that you know how amazing it really is. Do you get it now, Kafka? All right, let's get going. We have to move quickly. This place is different from the rest of the space station. We're on Genius Society turf. It is safe to assume that two people entered the simulated universe. Her and her companion. Probably during the raid. Interesting. The Void let's Rangers. See what happened next. You are now taking the point of view of the companion. She will react to your behavior now. Interesting. It's weird, because, like, back in Genshin... Hang on. Back in Genshin, um... If you had the character that was featured in, like, an event or whatever, they would, like, and, like, let's say you pulled for a character they, they were featuring in the event or, uh, story part, they would let you play with your own build of that character. In this game, that doesn't seem to be the case, though. which just kinda eh. But it's whatever. The one they provide me is, like, 62. It's a little on the level, but eh, whatever. At least the rest of the teammates are level 70, so we won't have too much of a problem going through here. Can I have fun this time? I haven't upgraded all the light cone jacks, that's more grinding. Also, I just found out, um. Fork in the road, huh? I got this. Hang on a minute. Wanna pick one first? Give your beloved instincts a try. Talks a lot. <laughs> yeah, but I like it. Is she telling me to choose? Technically, she is asking her companion to choose. The record will continue forward even if you don't take any action. Hmm. Wrong choice. The correct answer is the path on the right. I was just gonna say path on the right. I was gonna pick that too. Hi. Um, no, oh, I just remember what I was going to say. Um, artifacts. They only give me one gold, so there's not, no point in farming that now. I have to wait till level 80. Hmm, not what we're looking for. It's a bait signal. Ugh, why would Herta put something like this inside the simulated universe? Doesn't she find it annoying when she has to find something herself? Never mind, I miscalculated. Let's try another sector. Doesn't seem to be going well. She's actually on the correct path. She just needs to continue a little further. I trust that she too will realize this soon. Are you so what sure? What has happened is destined to happen again. That was my conclusion after having met her. Stellaron Hunter, Silver Wolf. We fought against one another before. Herta was there as well. She may have mentioned it to you. 
Recall that she... that... You won? From my point of view, it wasn't a victory. It was more like a test than a duel. She would attack, and I would defend. Neither of us gave it our all. She wasn't able to break through my defenses, and I wasn't able to stop her from leaving. I never thought our next meeting would take place under these circumstances. I believe the continuation of our last encounter will soon arrive. What the? This was the right way what all the? along. Ugh, Hurt has got some psychological tactics going on. <laughs> Seems like we can now continue forward. I love Melissa Fawn so much. So... Mm, oh, we gotta fight. Oh, back to the space station again. A riddle? Where's the skip button? Where's the skip button? Interesting. Yeah, a lot of her dialogue is from it reminds me so much of Nap. You took the bait. Honored to meet me. Yeah, because yeah, I really gotta play the Neptunian games. Just so you know what I'm talking about. I'll get to him at some point. I just don't know when. There's so That'll take more than that. Cause like I got randomizers and other things I got planned, but it's like I, it's like just because of this game now I really want to play Neptune again. Plus it's a fun series. There's a lot of fun games for it. Finally, almost there. <laughs> There's even a miniature Herda over here. Just another copy of her. The Perda. A little narcissistic, isn't she? The whole space station is filled with her face. Portraits, statues, even projections of herself. Wouldn't you do the same? I was planning on adding a mustache for her, but the spray didn't work. The entire space station feels like it's made of paper, but her portrait is near indestructible. <laughs> <laughs> She's talking about that portrait in the elevator room, no? Herta commissioned me to design an encryption tool for her. Seems she ended up using it on her portrait. This is she almost... She's almost at destination. That's correct. The ether cartridge data is in the next room. Our pursuit is coming to an end. Strange feeling about yes. this. That incongruous feeling has persisted throughout this long pursuit. She came for the Stellaron, but showed a strong interest in the Curios. And just as we found out about the existence of the Ether cartridge, she just so happened to show up in the simulated universe. I must admit, this feels less like a chase and more like a chance encounter. Like an I RPG! A story about Punk Lord. It is said that graffiti is a special kind of symbol there. Hackers see reality as a magnificent game, an attempt to finish the stage we know as life. Whether it be for competition or for joy, they leave a trail in the places they visit. One symbol after another link up to become a long, long journey that writes the game of life. And would this ongoing affair not be part of such an endeavor? Perhaps this is all nothing more than a game she's decided to play with us. In which case, let us accompany her till the end. Absolutely. This herd does nothing, okay. Ain't really much of a boss right here. Hold on. Will of preservation. Let me get that going at least. Okay, can you it? Got him. Yeah, about yourself before a fight. Trickier to crash. Hm. This is double speed. Yeah, this guy's gonna be a little tanky, isn't he? 
Defense reduction. Do you know who I am? It's Diamond! It's all yours! Diamond World! That'll be next time. Yes. Can I have fun this time? Sure. Time for fun. <laughs> there you go, there's your fun. I should have shielded up again. Yeah. Time for a fun. Honored to meet me. This is double speed. What are you looking at? Hmm. Thought that was gonna kill. Love that music, Look, by the way. We found it. The ether cartridge is here, and it's perfectly intact. Something's not right. There is an unwelcome third party here with us. If what we are seeing constitutes past images of Silver Wolf, then for her to have made it this far would have entailed the disappearance of the cartridge. We can only assume that the facts don't align with the theory. I believe that she was indeed able to hack into Herta's office, but she didn't stay there for very long. After all, even the best hacker wouldn't be able to find a specified target in the vast ocean of the simulated universe's data. Unless... Unless she had someone to guide her there. Of course. Yeah. You want to explain it to him first? I can see the confusion in his eyes. The final results are on the display table, young sir. Take a closer look if you wish. We have plenty of time left. I will answer any questions that you may have. So she's actually... Correctly. The person that stands before you is tonight's starring role. She left herself a back door in the office, performed a proxy hack the moment you entered the simulated universe, and found a way to continue alongside us. Uh. I must say, she really is a masterful actor. Misdirection is always the most effective method. So the graffiti was bait? The graffiti is like a two-way data tunnel. You can use it to retrace the trail she leaves behind, and she can monitor your progress by seeing which pieces of graffiti have disappeared. I fear she may well have had the whole thing planned out before hacking the space station. The graffiti and the back door were all in aid of honing in on just the right moment. You knew everything from the start? I'm sorry. Herta forbade me from disclosing any information beforehand. She made clear that knowledge would not be paramount to this operation, but rather the lack of it. However, the way I see it, the most important elements were dedication and sincerity. The actions of Mr. Leonard drew the target right in. Uh, don't have any other questions. Were you satisfied with this simulated universe journey, Miss Silver Wolf? Huh, you knew it all along, didn't you? I knew it would be hard to fool you. All that talk you were spouting along the way was meant for me, wasn't it? It is a joy and an honor to have the opportunity to face off against you once again. Herta said that this cartridge would be able to lure in the biggest fishes in the universe. She was right. So, the business about shutting down the universe and the argument with Herta was all just an act? You did all that to lure me in? That is up to you to interpret. Herta and I have always been frank with one another. Sharp conversations of that nature happen on a regular basis. It wouldn't be fitting to call it an act. <laughs> Miss Silverwolf is truly a talented hacker. Not only did she calculate everything ahead of time, she has numerous variables and aces still to play. News of my sudden visit to the space station was probably the only uncontrollable variable in her plan. And with my arrival came the nightmare of shutting down the simulated universe. That would have ruined her plans and all her preparations. That's why she had to take the risk. 
You now know everything about this encounter. Everything? No, no. You're wrong about the most important part. You think I came here out of desperation, but I've been bursting with excitement this whole time. Do you know how happy I was when you showed up, Screwlum? I haven't had the thrill of a formidable opponent in such a long time. The Legion is nothing but a bunch of cavemen, and the IPC were a disappointment. Only the Society has the talent to provide me with a fun challenge. Reality is nothing but a game. But what's the point of a game if it can't make you happy? True. An invitation letter and a challenge letter were sent to me from two geniuses. How could I not accept them? Would you have turned them down? You're confident you'll be able to get out of this in one piece. That's right. And I'm bringing this with me. Okay, it's a cartridge. Oh, a copy. You completed it while we were talking just now. Why else would I entertain so much small talk? You're not the only one stalling for time. I'm guessing that Herda is hiding in a corner somewhere, trying to pull off a reverse hack from where I hacked in. You, on the other hand, are responsible for taking me head on, just as you did last time. And I'm looking forward to it. How do you plan on stopping me this time? Are you going to turn the simulated universe into a black box? Or are you going to work with the IPC and put together a cross-galactic encirclement? Screw them. Will I be able to see your true strength this time? The long-awaited result will finally be determined. There will only be one victor today. Please, let me have some fun this time, okay? <laughs> My apologies, Miss Silverwolf, but none of what you are hoping for will be happening today. You may leave now. Huh? Leave? But why? Aren't you trying to catch me? Don't you want to cuff me and exile me on some distant planet? Your creativity Damn. has proven interesting. However, I have nothing to do with your quarrel with the space station. Ergo, I won't stop you. I'm gonna leave with this cartridge then. That's just a duplicate. Correction. Not only is the one in your possession a duplicate, but so is the one here. The real curio was transferred elsewhere at the very beginning. Conclusion. You may share that data freely. What if I attack the space station again? It would have nothing to do with me. But I must warn you, it is likely that someone would step forward to stop you. Yeah. Then what if I were to destroy the simulated universe right now? No, I still have grinding to do. I'm sorry, but that simply isn't possible. Ether editing isn't capable of destroying an entire universe. Oh, thank God. What is the point of this then? You guys went out of your way to put together this trap, but don't plan on doing anything at all? That's right. This way, the game that you so carefully orchestrated is now pointless, is it not? There's no point in a game if it's no longer fun. Silver Wolf, I know what you're after. The IPC's shackles won't be able to hold you, and jail is but another game to you. Herta and I came to an understanding. We will no longer enable you and give you what you need. <laughs> How boring. However, Herta felt that this would be too easy on you, and wanted to add something of her own. And that is why, in this very moment, she has reverse-hacked you and located all your inter-astral network accounts. A total of 76 accounts. A very impressive. <laughs> Damn. 76 accounts? see if the IPC were to freeze all of them, including all of your game records. Whoa, whoa, hey, that's a bit extreme. Hey, hold on a minute. And she logged out. How hasty of her. <sighs> Games are always fun in the eyes of a child, but to an adult, they are but one among many ways of solving a problem. That's true. It's about time we were on our way. 
This was fun. Thanks for the EXP I'm gonna need it because I'm completely tapped out. Oop, map explosion. If you cannot imagine how hackers can create destruction, try to visualize them. Setting off an explosion with cyberspace. The parties involved should be quite fond of this metaphor. Hacker call card. Each intrusion inst can be piece by piece de resource in the hacker's career. And leaving one of the image behind is undoubtedly the proudest signature of their hard work. Level 1. I kind of create a game star to enjoy the adventure on Foley. That's fun. 76. She has like literally 76 alternative accounts. Uh, oh, I'm missing, only missing two more. Wow, they gave me four? No. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay, it gave me like three. What's up, Herda? <laughs> I suspect of Madam Herta. Make sure you never forget about it. <laughs> I couldn't care less about what happened with the space station, but I will surely repay the favor tenfold to anyone who dares to taunt me. I already notified someone at the IPC to freeze all her accounts. <laughs> She's probably crying in front of her computer right now. <laughs> Damn, Herta. You're brutal. Don't fuck with Herta. That's for sure. Thank you, young sir. Your and Mr. Leonard's contributions were a necessity to our victory. Do you have any other questions regarding this incident? What's she truly Her after? Her ultimate goal was always the ether cartridge. But she developed an alternative objective in challenging Herta and me in the process. All those complicated puzzles and unnecessary ploys. Nothing more than games, I'll wager. Will the space station be evaded again? If you are referring to the back doors Silver Wolf left behind, we have cleared out all of them, except for the one in the office. Don't worry. The space station is not as fragile as you think. Whether it's cosmic warfare or the incident that just took place, they're all within Herta's grand plan. I want to ask something Please else. Ask away. Will you shut down the Simian universe? Certainly not. Good, because I have a lot of grinding to do. Although Madam Herta and I have our differences in terms of research direction, the simulated universe is our shared pursuit, and nothing will change that. On the contrary. I plan on staying here for a while to see up close what kind of surprises the new branch of the universe has in store for me. What's the ultimate, ultimate meaning of existence of the universe? There is no one answer to that question, my friend. It holds a different meaning for everyone. To sentimental organic life forms, it could be the first falling leaf in the change of seasons. Or the marks carved onto someone through the passage of time. To the swarm that follows its instincts, it might be the sight of fresh meat in their compound eyes and the restless thirst for sustenance. And for me, perhaps the image of symbols woven together, still able to move the heart. Something great that you call emotions. Of course, I've also heard that the answer is nothing more than a two-digit number. Do you have plans? <laughs> what do you have? What are you plan on having for dinner? Medium rare kettle steak, salt baked kalia lemongrass, Herman compound milk, and a portion of fried rice prepared by a certain young man on the station. Question: How do you eat that? All I need is energy. The form that energy comes in is the same as it is for you. I would never forsake the delights of the culinary world in the interests of efficiency. Now, it is possible that my joints may need a little lubricant every now and again. Mm. I'm curious how he eats. Oh, uh, that's all the questions I have. Our destination may differ, but there are still countless opportunities for our paths to cross. 
the pursuit of knowledge will always be the best driving force for trailblazing. Horse. Up top of Leonard. So the reason Madame Herta wanted me to continue the investigation was to lure her out of hiding? That never crossed my mind. Did she know about the traps the hacker left in the space station from the very beginning? You are most fitting person. <laughs> she said I did a good job. Yeah. Can you believe it? I've just been acknowledged by Madame Herta. This is something I'll remember for the rest of my life. <laughs> I don't have to worry about being fired anymore. Hopefully not. This chapter has come to a conclusion. Come, let us close the final back door. Another one? That looks cool. You watch the image on the wall slowly dis dissolve and disappear, and that's the end of it. Kid anymore. I am not throwing a tantrum. Uh huh. Anyway, what are you gonna do now, huh? Hack an IPC branch nearby and get your accounts back? <sighs> if it were just one or two accounts, sure. I kind of overdid it this time. I lost basically everything. A branch office probably won't be enough. I'm gonna have to make a trip to Pierpoint. What, you're going alone? That's the IPC's headquarters. Yep, just me. Why? Do you want to come with? I probably won't be able to. I'm in Elio's next script. Did you forget? Oh, right. That story doesn't sound like it fits me. You guys have fun. I hope you have a good time in Pierpoint as well. Don't worry. I've already got an idea. You see that cloud diner just two kilometers from here? A few temps from the building material logistics department just stepped in. I'm gonna go and become their friend. Getting a move on already? I would have thought you'd at least want to spend some time with that cartridge you were obsessing about. I told you. I'm not obsessed with it. Besides... There's fun to be had along the way. She starts running through the engulfed neon lights and she had and she lifts her head home world that night, sprinting towards the stars. Starlights and Elion gate her shadow, illuminate the history of the punk lore. Those who penned the legend their vows remember the sight of stars. The the earliest role playing gamer said games are about growth. The calm t tactical strategy gamer said, games are about victories. The rebellious coll collaborative gamer says, games are about encounters. The lovely narrative gamer said, gamers are about, games are about remembrance. And now the, the young galactic adventurer gamer, she said, a game is a game and that's all there is to it. I love it. <laughs> I love that. That was really cool. So let's become a visitor to the express. So yeah, you're on there. You're still at the space station, right? Want to talk about something? Yeah, I'm still here. Been a while since that incident. I'm still very worried about the space station cybersecurity. I want to prepare. I want to prepare while I can. Get any ideas? We're running to use. talk about detail face to face at something office. Please be sure to drop by. Level 999, max level achieved, but the game's not over yet. Continue your adventure and brush aside the uh, overflowing experience points. Eternal quest. The end of the stage signifies the beginning of another. After clearing the beginner game, you can move forward to a bigger performance on stage. Awesome. And there's your free light cone. Now, how is this one compared to... Hold on, we'll actually show that in a minute. Break graffiti. Yeah, now you can, like... Do whatever you want with the graffiti, you have everything. And yes, you do keep these.
There you go, Herda. You're at the edge of the universe. Literally. Or at the end of the stage or whatever. Just gonna leave that there for her. Anyways. Let's see. What else we got for Stone Hearted Games? We got the arcade challenge, which we haven't done yet. Take any pictures, volume two, volume three. We'll definitely do all these. Let's go and do the hidden codes real quick. Let's see what this is about. I think it's just finding the graffitis, isn't it? Yeah. Follow the signs of the hidden graffitis and interact with them in a corresponding reward. So this is the other part of the event where you have to find the hidden graffitis. Oh wait, is this? Uh, stop navigating. That's an adventure thing. I'm doing this right now. So look for them in this area. Oh, I see one. You just scan them like that. For the hack and call card graffiti. Okay. Oh, is that it? Just one? Oh, okay. You find those in the base and then... Uh, yeah, let's let's show where all those are, actually. Uh, so there's that one. Oh, there's like two more in here. Found one out of three. Okay. I see how this works now. So that was one. So they're just in plain sight. I thought it was going to ask me to do some kind of puzzle to reveal them first. Oh, I see one up there. Oh yeah, what do I think about this event? It's pretty fun. I like it. But then again, I'm I'm a giant simp for Silver Wolf, so let's be real here. If she's on screen, it's like I'm gonna enjoy every last second of it. I I hope one day um I would like to meet her a VA. I'm such a huge fan of her work as a voice actress. Is there one behind the desk here? There is. Ha <laughs> ha. I was about to be like, no. Whoops. I hit my hit so hit the hint system. Bleh. Bitman explosion graffiti. Got that one. Let's see. There should be all of them in this area. Access scanning. The stellar sector. And volume two has basically this. Okay, I think I get it. So it's like. You have the scanning, then you have the access screen, and the seal sector, and then you have volume 2 and 3. Just in different areas. Let's go do the screening next. I think we'll show these. Eh, I'll see. I might just do them all just to show it off. Photos. Photos. All the signs and the photo subjects interact with them and they'll receive the corresponding rewards. Provide image only examples. Find another target. The same type of the master control room. Also, let's complete the mission. All right, so for that, take a picture of any trash can, space anchor, and food ordering robot. Okay, gotcha. Food ordering robot. Take a picture of this guy. Right? Does that count? Hold on, it's gonna be a lot of menu accessing. Wait a minute, what? Okay, no. I'm messing up. Also... Oh, the event period. That jumped me up levels. Uh... I'll have to pick that later, actually, because I, I don't know what... There's another lake cone I wanted. I can't think of it right off the top of my head. Are you sure any trash can? Do I have to save the photo? Oh! There's an option for it. Okay. That's what I was confused about. Trash can, the space anchor, and then the robot. Whoops. Not the actual thing. I kept thinking like Genshin, like you had to pull out your camera first, then you take the photo. But no. I gotta stop thinking about Genshin when it comes to this game. I don't mean to bring up the similarity so much, it's just... It's just you think about it and you, you're based off of past experience. And it's like, nope, not the same thing. Alright, Seal Sector, let's go to this. 
Should have read it. Uh, yeah. Sorry for all this menu accessing. I was asking you to help with completing a task and improve the cyberspace security. Help him keep his job. And over here, you're finally here. I've been waiting for a long time. Sorry to keep you waiting. With the politeness, I look for you for you for help, and I'm willing to wait. Thing is, I said to I said in my message, even the evasion is over. I still expose many secret security issues in the space station faces. In other words, ga gaps. One lead researcher asked us order the space station forms a special task for force. Excuse me, tackle this problem. In my opinion, aside from the technical upgrades, it's more important to increase staff members' awareness and punk precaution. Many Silver Wolf's attacks honed in an individual's bad habits, and those are too difficult to defend stuff. Fair enough. As a turf, a genius society member, and not only inconceivable, conceivable, but that other, for that other forces target us, therefore our safety and staff awareness should be atop top of the universe as well. In order to be able to quick, quick respond to such in indecence in the future, I think it's safe. I think a safety drill is for the entire space station should be arranged. A select number of staff members will have their terminals sent a mail embedded with special programs. Fishing mail? No, 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 no. Not as simple as that. We're defending against an enemy of levels of a Stellaron Hunter. They won't give us give a choice. The moment the mail is successfully retrieved, the program attack will automatically immediately regard regardless of time, location, or whatever it's open. Within the moment, the virus will spread throughout the entire space station. Be it personal terminals, public facilities, and electrical seat warmers on a toilet, everything might collapse within a moment. Okay, scary. Very scary. Don't worry, these viruses are all in intimidation, intimidations right, written by me. They're absolutely safe and harmless. Though the drill I want to deepen everyone's understanding of the network security, of course, before we start testing, repeating revisions is comp compulsory. The requirement of the test candidate will very will be very high. Will be a bold, careful, and thoughtful. They can only they can must not be familiar with the space station. But also understand Silver Wolves and Stellar Hunters. It would have, would be helpful. If they had an alt altruistic heart. Who can satisfy all those requirements? My friend as you. No problem. Panel simulation testing grounds. Let's go. Then let's go. There's four tiers of this. Well, 68. Is this all like scaled? Interesting. Alright, let's go. Uh, actually, yeah, that's exactly what we need. Cool. Too bad, like, light cones are 60, but it's literally whatever. Special mechanism. Apparently the network in the area is within that has been hacked. I emulate mean, Silver Wolf's methodology so you can discover new, many strange graffiti in various locations in the zone. Imagine you're a regular staff member in the space station and you need to evacuate a safe place, but many paths are blocked due to malfunction caused by the virus. But luckily for you, you have, you have a wealthy and secure security knowledge. A wealth of security knowledge. You exactly know how to clear out those graffiti and viruses carried by manufacturers. Devices are restored, just like detectors from before. Investigation the graffiti on the surface and scan them. Game is simple. Remove the obstacles and clear the area. Gotcha. I literally took two steps, Leonard! Affected by a cyber attack, this sensor door cannot be activated. You need the graffiti, right? Gotcha. Freaking graffitis, man. Oh. Glad to be near it. Oh. No. It's a little anchor. And a way to leave the room. Oh. Pfft. I was like, wait a minute. Am I supposed to take a picture of that symbol? No. Over here. Oh, hold on. Target search. There we go. Found, we found the little Easter egg ahead. The graffitis are usually referred to as hacking, hacking call cards. They don't see any functional other than the to distract. I wrote them codes to make it more realistic. There are three hacking call cards in each area. Try and locate the element as, a, an, added, as an added reward. Collecting hacking call cards will increase your combat abilities to test. Ooh, nice. 
Scan the Halcyon Call Card Graffiti is a cipher of the attack algorithm used by Silverwolf. Collecting ca calling cards increase simulation correct addition intensity level. Simulation calculation will deal quantum damage to all enemies. Every turn does damage to police toughness and all enemies, regardless of weakness type. Nice. That's pretty cool. Now can I scan this? Ah, okay. And I'll disappear, gotcha. Okay. I keep thinking I can pull my camera on any time and it's like, oh no way, it's in the escape button. I wonder, can I add it to the wheel? Because that actually would be a little bit more helpful. I gotta look for those 8-bit uh, calling cards. Uncle Lore sounds like a planet I would actually would love to live on. Just because of gamers, man. Just to say, do I need to fight everything in this room? Because I will fight what I need to fight. I know I'm going to need to fight these guys. Uh... Boop. You took the bait. Not that I want to avoid fighting, it's just... For sake of recording and stuff, if I don't need to fight certain enemies, I will try to avoid them. And for the sake of progress, too. That's cool. I do like how they scale the enemies to your level. That's something, um, I don't think Genshin ever did with events. I think everything was always, like, a difficulty. Like, if, if an event in that game had, like, a difficulty, a it would have, like, tier 1, tier 2, tier 3, 4 onward, you know, tier difficulties. But I don't think it scaled too much. Hold on, there's a thingy over here. I do like the chibi. Oh. My bad, it's been a while. What are you huffing about? You tired? Me too. Nah, it's okay. I got coffee. Yeah, before I started recording this, I did just wake up, but I've been surviving on coffee for a while. I should go get in our cup soon. Well, while we're clear doing all this events too, I can talk about stuff as well. The end is right there in front of us. See how long you took. Faster than I expected, Isaiah. Keep going and find obstacles left. Yeah. This guy. Wait, will this stack? Yeah, it will. That's awesome. It's awesome that stacks. Combustion. That'll take me. It's like for a fire enemy to be weak to fire. That was a lot of damage. Do you know who I damage. I don't know. Oh, oh, come on. Well, textbook performance. It was easy. Of course, you fought, fought the real Silver Wolf. I mean, not really. She kind of just was there, but, you know, whatever. The only natural this practice is is com incomparable to the real thing. If all researchers able to face it as calmly as you did, there would have been no need to worry that the space station is under a cyber attack. Let's go back. This test gives you some new ideas. Oh, well now. Uh, confirm exit. There's nothing else here. I found all the graffiti. Nice. Good stellar jade. I'll have to count that all out. I'll settle all up later. It's getting late. Where to now? Uh, all good. Let's begin. I'm gonna say I could just do all of those. Um, let's. But that's pretty much all the 
side stuff you can do. It's difficulty 2, and then volume 2, and volume 3. It's pretty much all the same thing, though. But just in different areas and whatnot. Uh, I got 800 points. Let me see about the story real quick. Tracks of Destiny. Oh, yeah, I gotta get that bubblegum. 100 left. I'll get those two. Void cast irons, all that stuff. Uh, yeah, let's do the rest of those. I gotta do difficulty two. But I'm gonna go and do all, do the uh, hidden codes and access screenings. Just to kind of, just to kind of do these. What time are we looking at? Hour 30 minutes, okay. Um, I'll do this one and talk a little bit, because why not? It is more just one of the same thing, though. Oh, hang on. Battle pass. Oh, that's right. It's the light cones. I want to save those for later. Obviously, I'm not going to do the whole thing on, uh, on recording, because that would take a very long time to get through. There's one over there. But I do want to talk a little bit, too. And what's coming up. I do, um... By the time you see this video, I do apologize if it is coming out, like, super late or whatever. Oh, you know what? No, I'm, I'm actually going to show the whole thing. Why not? Because then I can practice more of my commentary and stuff. This video this video is going to be two hours long anyway. Screw it. Let's just show everything. Let's just do all the things, you know? Because we do a randomizer, and there's a lot of mund thing, mundane things in that, and I talk through that just fine, so I can do the same thing for this game. That's the boss right there. Boss area right there. Is there one more in this area? But yeah, I'm already... A lot of stuff happened this week. Um, nothing happened to me. I mean, work's been kicking my ass, but that's nothing new. Work's always been kicking my ass. I just don't talk about my work too much because it's like, eh, you know. Nothing exciting ever happens there and it's like, eh. All that stuff. Uh, let's see. Take a picture of any squ square flower pot in the master control zone. Take a picture of the eternal purchase officer in the master control room. Stellar remote sensitive device. This guy. Take a photo of him. Of his back, yes. Great photo. <laughs> this thing. An ad for cola, nice. That's what that looks like. Oh, here we go. They're all, well, all were next to each other. Excellent. Take a picture of Sally. Wait, what did I take a picture of? Oh, it was this one. Or oh, all these are in the master control rooms. Okay, well, might as well just take a picture of everything. Satellite remote sensory device. Is that what? Isn't that the thing Asa standing next to? Yeah, right there. Or is that not it? And I'm high. Wish I was high. No. Oh, this thing. This is satellite remote. Yeah, it is. Oh, master control. No, wait. Yeah, satellite remote sense sensing device. How would I know what that looked like? Uh, take a picture of a triangular table and take a picture of Herda's office. All right. Yeah, let's, take the, let's take a picture of Herda's office. Is she? I don't remember this being voiced. In Interesting. Senior, I think they added this. To reverse her own age via de aging and went on to solve the mystery of the imaginary leakage phenomenon, and even captured and sealed a Stellaron. Madame Herda has saved the planet she was on from destruction 19 times and has met the eons twice. 
Damn, Herta. Again, don't mess with her, huh? But what am I taking a picture of in here? This is a reminder. Her office in the oh, just her office, not in the office. I'm dumb. I is very dumb. It's getting late. Yeah. Just take a picture of her door. I'm sure she won't mind. Was around. Okay, I'm getting my shapes right. There, there's a triangular table. Is this the only one in the whole state station? Or is there another one? I just passed it like 300 times. Probably. There we go. All done. So we're all done with hidden codes and access screening. Oh, except for this one. But yeah, after you see this, I'll probably be working on that randomizer and then, uh... I think next month, RE4 Remake is going to make a return on the channel. I know I put it down temporarily. Because I was frustrated. Well, I mean, you could look back at my old randomizer. Do you want to know why I was frustrated in that? But the short story is I was frustrated with recording that because my PC can only handle that game so much at a time. And uh, I was going to abandon it. But then I was like, no, let me finish it. Because I'd rather, I'd rather have finished that game than abandon it. Because then it'll make... They don't feel like crap later, knowing I abandoned it. So I will, I will finish it. It's just this game came out and it really intrigued me, and I wanted to have an account from day one. So there's that too, and just couldn't stop playing. Investigate. Oh, it's just, a, it's just a quest. I think it is. Your story story times behind you shut. Oh, this is the Wubba Boo. I think this is my daily. Yeah, that might be my daily. That looks familiar. Um, I haven't done my daily yet. And it was in the same area where Punk Lord Mentality started. So I said, screw it. I'm just going to do Punk Lord Mentality before I do my dailies. Is it in there with Herda? It is. It is in there with Herda. I was on the ground. I couldn't see it from that angle. Awesome. I'm going to do a lot of editing for this. Just to make this a little bit more bearable. So those are done, that's done, this is done, that's done, this is done. Okay, so we just gotta do the sealed sectors, all the difficulties and whatnot. Alright, cool. Uh, store, let me see that bubble gum real quick. And we got all those. I do want those traveling guys, because I'm like tapped out from like leveling up a bunch of characters to level 70. So expensive. Uh, no, wait. Sorry about that. When you hold down the, when you bring that wheel up, you can't cancel it. Yeah, I want to go back here. It's getting oh, hard. you're not going to teleport me next, Sol? Yeah. Hmm. Don't know how I feel about that. What's up, Leonard? Let's begin. Do difficulty two, and then we got three and four to do, and I think that's it. Two, three, four. Yeah, that would be it. Physical, wind, imaginary. Now nah, I'll just go with my team. Just keep the same old team to get through this. And editing will allow you to all new graffiti. Go find it. You'll see, find it soon enough. I bet I will. Boom. But yeah, with the uh, limited space this game has, it definitely is making use of this event, I would say, as well as it can. I was always thinking how this game would do events or handle events. But so far, the, f the two that we've done on this channel so far have been entertaining. This one's going to be longer because, of course, we want to show everything, of course, and we want to document everything. Level 99, level 1. Eh. Kind of funny the way they place those next to each other like that. You need to weaken your enemies. Absolutely. 
The enemies are weaker than before. Eh, that's funny they use the graffiti like that. I like that. My god, don't worry. Oh, I thought it was going to reduce him down to level 1. That would have been kind of funny. That actually kind of would have been clever, but whatever. I mean, it still was. This combat needs a... This is really funny, he got one shot it out of nowhere. It's like, whoa. That'll take more than medicine. That would have been great. Can I have fun this time? Little attack animation is kinda like uh kinda reminds me of um I can't think of his name. The one with the lightning god. Cause it has like a turn order and all that stuff on the left. It's a silver roll symbol. Let's do it again when you're leveled up. Well, we are leveled up. Graffiti right there that guy's just staring at. Can I just walk up to him and take it? With that one. And fighting. Get weaker. <laughs> like I said, that is definitely a really clever use of that. Yeah, I really like this character, Silver Wolf. I can't remember. Is that. Was that the, um. The character quest we were supposed to get with her, or is there like another one? I thought there was like two of them, but I could be wrong. Yeah, I could be wrong. Nah, you guys can hang out there. Oh. It's like after playing this game for a while, I kind of know what enemies to fight, which ones not to fight, and waste my time with. <laughs> For the sake of this video, really. Wow, he did decent damage. Then again, her does not fully level up, though. Guy's tanky. Again, I'm kind of glad they scaled the enemies with you, because if they didn't, this would just be a cakewalk. Until you got to, like, the harder stuff. We're just taking all that damage. Can I have fun this time? Those skill points. Can I not be attacking my healer? Cause of a physical invasion, however, sometimes we can utilize the enemy's tactics and catch them. Yeah? Indeed. Uh, we can leave. If there's anything I miss by accident, I'll just come back and get on my own time. Really? It's getting late. Because we want to see if this gets difficult or not, if it just kind of stays the same. Three Dire Wolf Ranger Element Eliminator. All right, two ice weaknesses, physical and electric. Sounds good. Sounds like my team, except I don't have imaginary. I've been like debating if I should pull on that next guy's banner again. I cannot remember his name for the life of me, but he's coming up and, I'll, and he's imaginary, but he's a healer too. But there's also that uh, fox lady as well. These two I had to fight. They're completely in the way. Um, yeah, it's just uh, I've just been thinking about it at work a lot, and I'm like, man, I haven't played Ocarina of Time in forever. And that's like the one Zelda game that everyone loves. Meanwhile, me as an intellectual, I just love Majora's Mask for the life of me. As you can tell by all the randomizers. 
Oh, this guy wasn't weak until void? I thought he was. I read it wrong, then. But yeah, I was actually kind of thinking of doing a playthrough of that, just because why not? I haven't played that game in forever, and it's like, I want to do randomize of it at some point. Yeah, these guys are kind of tanky. Yeah, kind of. Then again, we're not we're not all super strong. Like Silver Wolf is over there. But yeah, not that I'm getting bored of, of making Majora's Mass randomizers. Just I kind of want to do different randomizers for the month. Like at some point, we gotta do uh, randomizers for Twilight Princess and stuff. Once I figure out how that works, and you fight you, not really. You're not in the way or anything. As long as you don't run up to me right now and kick my ass, we're good. Also, I just walked past this too. The real strength level increase. My silver wolf or strength increase in general? That'd make more sense. Question mark is definitely very deep eye catching. Oh. It teleported us. Whoops. I forgot I can't look at your map. Wait, hold on. Let me go back real quick. Okay. Or is that all there was in this room? I just like to do a thorough look, you know? You never know. Yeah, Ocarina's Time came to mind a few times, and I'm like... I tried it once on stream, and then it did not work out well. Hang on, there's a level net one around here somewhere. There it is. And by I, it did not work, I mean I did not understand... I, I don't fully understand where all the I where everything is in Ocarina of Time and I that's kinda like why I want to do a playthrough of it. They kinda just document it and it's like, alright, if I need to remember something. God damn it. I was an inch off. I was an inch off and talking about a different game. This combat needs a but yeah, that's kind of like why I want to do another, um, why I kind of want to do a playthrough of it. Just so I can, like, fully be like, okay, this chest is here and this chest is elsewhere and whatnot. You know? Of course, I'm not going to remember every little chest in that game, but still. It'd be nice just to do a playthrough just for that, for the sake of it. Just so I can make those randomizers a lot more fluent. Though, Ocarina Time is a bigger game than Majora's Mask. It is so much bigger. Because Majora's Mask is like a sandbox, and that game is like, not really open world. It, it has like levels and everything to it. But there's a lot more structure to it than Majora's Mask. Or Majora's Mask is like taking place in a sandbox. Because there is a lot to explore in that game, but it's like, it's all in like, in, like condensed areas. And if you really think about it, if you play Majora's Mask enough, you can kind of understand where everything is. Just by doing like a playthrough or two of that game. But I've done it so much in the past, it's ridiculous. You could say it was my only game for a while. And it was. This guy's on the way, get him out of the way. Damn it. Reach the end of the story in your own way. I just realized she was very low on health. Is there space anchor nearby? Might have been one back that way. Where's that guy? Yeah, hold on. Might need to go find a space anchor. Oh, you want to go past them? Hold on. You guys, no pushover. It's about the power of level graffitis. The power of graffitis. I thought I'd be saying that in my life. Let's just take us back a few levels. Oh, so you didn't have to run past them. All right, hold on. No, it is. Wait, it is different because I was. No, it's not. 
I remember that door being shut. Oh, that, that's what I was looking for, the space anchor. There we go. Wasn't watching our health. I gotta get all my characters built up, jeez. It's gonna be a lot of grinding for me over the weekend. Yeah, I should've just like went back and did that. And then there's these guys. You're right, that guy isn't a pushover. Those guys were. Yeah, so I don't know how I'm gonna do Ocarina of Time as a randomizer series. I think I would have to do it in parts, yeah? Because that's like a bigger game. I'll have to watch uh, Bill's older randomizers on those, just to kind of understand those. Because he's done Ocarina of Time a few times, but I don't remember how often he did it. Ready, yeah. Got all the graffitis. I wonder if you could fight that guy if he was maxed out. I'm trying to fight the next one like that. This combat needs up to but I'm pretty sure they're like, nah, you don't want to do that. I'll see him. He might just one-shot us. I think that's how it would end up. Fun this time. Time for a fun. Ma. Lance of Blaze. Lance. Forward. Kind of weird they picked the robot enemies for this. It's kind of weird to see them on the space station. Huh. More enemies. Time for a fun. Naughty child. Pack reduction. What are you looking at? Do you know who I am? It's big diamond! It's all yours! It's time. Ooh, there's some damage. Time for a fun. <laughs> Almost dead. 745. I thought, I thought that was gonna kill him. No, stop. It's like, let me use my Ultima. Ah, there we go. Confirm exit. You want me to raid without achievements? Alright. Yeah, sometimes the achievements in this game are like a uh, reference to something else. Some of them I get, some of them I don't get. Uncore mortality. One. You want me to raid without achievements? Hmm. I don't know what that's referencing, honestly. Let's see. That's done. That's done. We just got one more. Let me check the store, see what I can buy. Of course, I want these. Can you buy everything here? Oh my god, I think you can. That'd be great. Also, a uh, fun fact, if you ever played Genshin back from like version 1.1 onward, or if you're a day one player like I was, I remember there were certain events you couldn't get everything like this. Like, you had to pick wisely what you wanted, and like... If you did, like, they're usually, for, like, Tracks of Destiny and Genshin, there's something called Crown of Insignia. And when you had limited spending back then, if you did not get the crown then, you'll never get it. And you always wanted to shoot that thing first. Nowadays, it's like I always shoot for that first, even though you can buy everything in the event stores. But I always just make sure that that's the first thing I buy. It's like, um, upgrade materials for, like, your weapons or whatnot. And the crown itself. That's like what you want to shoot for. Uh, pretty much the same thing, really. Wait, has it been the same thing since like level one? Just robots? No, Void Rangers. They kind of mix the first guy around with different enemies you now. Okay, I just was curious about that. That's a purple crappy artifact. I don't care for those. 
Yeah, I gotta wait till Equilibrium 5 in order to get artifacts, because that's the time to get artifacts. I think. I meant to switch to... Herda. A delicate operation. Go through there. Now where? Oh, I didn't realize that door was open. Closed door. There's no way I can pass through that. Oh wait, it opens. Do you can tell I look at map very delicately. But yeah, after this event, uh, after we clear all everything out of this event, uh, I'll be focused. I'll probably be doing character missions for a while. I think what I'm probably gonna do off screen too is like answer all those text messages and stuff. I'll definitely show them if they relate to something, but if they're just there for gag, I'll, I'll show them anyways. At some point, it'd just be easier to have all that text crawling done and out of the way, and then just show you what they were, what the two characters were texting each other, I guess. Ah, uh, you want me to do the bridge switch? Oh, can't okay, even go down there. There's probably a question mark down there then. But yeah, before we do our playthrough, all Korean time and all that, um, I'm def I gotta finish Resident Evil remake. Once that's finished, I think by that point uh, everything will be good. I'll get back to recording that soon. Yeah, still no tech points. I haven't seen any uh those purple jars around. There we go. How am I gonna get that time back? Now that's the thing, you don't. You don't get that time back. Oh, here we go. I won't use them on this guy. I'll save it for the boss. And no way I'm wasting a burst on that guy. No way in hell. But yeah, the museum event, I'll probably tackle that on this week too, coming up. Since there's like eight more days left on it. I think it's eight more days. I'm floating. Weird. Too bad they can't just jump over there, right? Am I right, fellas? I don't know. Oh, never mind. You can just warp over here. Even better. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if we were to, if we were to fight that guy, it would just be a very long, drawn-out battle. Unfulfilling and all that whatnot. I found everything. I feel like some things are missing. Like, what's this guy's story down here? Why is he there? Is there no question mark to feed graffiti by him? No? It's kind of strange, isn't it? There's not one around this corner? No? Okay. Now, nah, whatever. Let's just fight this guy. Don't worry, Herda, we already have our ways. Love that double stack, it's gonna do it one more time. Or no, it won't. It's nice to have Silverwolf during this event. I'm just happy I got her in her light cone. Oh yeah, this, <laughs> I still gotta show the light cone I got. That's better. Honor to meet me. Heal up because why not? It's time. That guy was quicker to kill than the last guys. Nice. Let's do it again. Oh, that's why, because it's not the last guy. Now I see why he's here. Oh. Oh, now it's open. Okay. I got you now. 
I understand what you're throwing at me. I'm actually thinking about changing the... Uh, updating the banner on this channel. I love it, but I kind of want Stella to make me another one. Oh, that's my last one. Oh, well. I wasn't counting. Really? This guy's the last one? Forward. Oh, okay. Now I get it. Wait a minute. Ah, there he is. Let's say, wasn't there supposed to be a big boy? To, did they forget? No. We need a strategy. I just stab him. Right in his gut. Do you know who I? It's big diamond. It's all yours. <laughs> this guy's probably gonna hurt a lot. About to explode. Fun. What are you looking That's just enough damage. Kind of hoping that would break him. You took the bait. This combat needs up. This is double speed. Awesome. That was fun. Turn up the highest difficulty. The untangle puzzle, break through obstacles I lay down makes me proud of, and somewhat thrilled. I think I understand how Silverwolf feels. By the time I join the IPC, what a precious memory. I'll never forget it. Glad I could help, Leonard. Firm exit. That should be everything. Look at all that stellar jade. Duh! Of course, it gives me crappy boots. Get all that bad luck out of the way. You know? It's getting late. And that should be everything for a Star Hunt game. Yep. This is a fun event. I liked it. I was just double checking. Of course, we got another event to do in another time, which is the... Everwinter City Museum. So I'll have to see if this one gets saved because as you can see, the Everwinter City Museum. I pointed this out in the last time, but in the last episode, but that has a little save feature right there. This doesn't, but I'm pretty sure this is just a quest in itself. So I think even if you miss this event, you still can get the rewards. I'm not sure about the I'm not sure about the track of destiny. But by the time you see this, it'll already be gone. All done and everything. Did I get any more BP period? I did. 32. Um, why don't we get this one? Because we did. Why don't we get this light cone? I could use an Hiddly one. Plus, this one fits the theme. It's um, so we're fighting Skrullium. I was gonna point that out a light cone. They didn't talk about it, but they did, surprisingly. And uh, this light cone isn't bad. The one we just got. Hang on. Yeah, for this one, after this is part of the battle pass, after the wielder uses basic attack or skill, deals additional damage, 48% of the wielder's attack random to a random enemy that has been attacked. So that's pretty nice. So if you didn't get the events like on this one, the battle pass they provide you is pretty good too. Oops, I didn't mean to exit. Um, but the new one they give you for free, the four star one. Is for several wolf, but you can obviously throw this on anyone really. Increase the wielder's effective hit rate by 20% when the wielder's attacks defense reduce enemies' regeneration by four. And also that 
bubble gum they give you is for upgrading this all the way their uh, its ability. So level one, level two, you can auto add all four of these. Again, where was this in Genshin? And just max it out. So not only to give you a free light home, but you can also max out if you've done everything in the event. So now the effective hit rate is by 40. When the ruler reduces attack, defense reduces 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 enemy's defense, sorry. Regenerate is eight energy. Can't talk right now, geez. So this light cone is actually pretty nice too for Silver Wolf. But again, even if you were pulling for her, this one's pretty good. Actually, I got two of them. That's kind of funny. This one too is also pretty good. Effective hit rate, DOT, all that lovely stuff. But of course, I got her light cone, which I will stick with. But I think I will probably level up that light cone a different time before the tutorial mission starts. I think I'll give that to uh, Pella because that's actually really good. That you can max out to five and all that stuff because of the events. But other than that, it was a fun event. I liked it. Now, let's see about polling. See if we can do anything with that. Got two gold tickets right there. How much does this add up to? Seven. Yeah, not enough. Almost enough, though. If I get two more of those gold tickets, I can do another ten pull on Silver Wolf Spanner. But as you can see, I already pulled Japara out of this not too long ago, so I'm probably going to get nothing for a while. Oh, maybe. Oh, that's right. I did spend a little money on this banner. Oh, maybe we'll get something real soon then. I don't know. I'm not counting all that to find out if that's true or not. Yeah, I did spend a little money on the banner. But hey, I wanted to get another Silver Wolf. But that goes, that, that does it for this event. Or Star Hunt Game Events. So if you made it this far into the video, I really appreciate it. Especially, uh, Appreciate the love and support you guys provide. If you want us to fo follow me more, I have an Instagram. It's in the description below, as well as our Discord and, our, of course, our artists, our artist links as well. They are taking commissions right now. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to go edit this for a long time and just rest up, actually, because I'm actually really tired. <laughs> I'll admit that much, at least. But thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate the love and support, and I will see you guys next time. See ya. Hold up, before I fully end this uh, event, I, there's one more thing I forgot to show. I know it's not the Dung Hun thing right there. These text messages from her. She was like uh, texting me during, not during the event, but like when this event was going on. So I didn't read any of these. So I think this would be a more proper way to end the video is to see these. The game I told you about last time, there's a new gacha banner today. You in? Let me see who, who's got the better one. Mmm, I'll wait and see for now. I mean, if you're talking about yourself, I already did that. Tremendous. What are you even talking about? Didn't, didn't ask. Don't hesitate. Just pull. <laughs> no. If you're asking, you want it? Pull first, ask question later. Something will come. You win something good. Believe in yourself. Gotta be happy. Yeah. I can feel it. Now. Seize the initiative. Come. Now. It's here. Should I? <laughs> Darn it. So quick. Aw. And this one right here. Have a look. Comment, please. What the? This is completely breaking the fourth wall. She's playing. <laughs> she's playing Star Rail. While she exists in that. Awesome. Wait, is that all the achievements? God damn. You shot from before. Find it by accident while I was cleaning up my gallery. Feels nostalgic right now. Probably from when the game first dropped. It's dropped a month ago! Yeah, or two months ago, of course. I'll, I'll complete them all. Just like that, it's life's full of changing. I like challenges. Or full challengings. Right? You're the same. We're the same. LOL. Everyone else we vibe we if we aren't the same. Gotta give it a shot though. Feeling being proud of accomplishing after finishing something are legit. 
That's all she had to say, though. But I wanted to point those out and show those. And yes, I'm going to go through all these. I'll let you know if it leads to anything. But anyways, see ya.